Okay. Okay, gentlemen, do you want to look at this now? Okay. Okay, we're, I think we're all set. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Currently, the existing residence consists of 1,972 square feet. The propo proposed first floor addition and garage total 822 square feet. The second floor addition, including the space over the garage and the attic space, total 1,978 square feet. The combined square footage of the existing residence and proposed addition totals 4,772 square feet. This brings the floor area ratio to 31.7%. The previous variance request was 35%. If the board saw fit to exclude the attic area from the floor area ratio calculation, the ratio would then be reduced to 28.8%. Go ahead, I'm sorry. I'm trying to take notes. Go ahead. That's it. Okay. So let me now go over, I guess we should go over the advertisement. Well, does it change? It changes. Well, they're not requesting anything more, but like, um, I don't have the advertisement open and in front of me, but instead me of reducing the front yard to 16 feet, it would be to 20. Okay. Instead so of increasing the FAR to, I can't remember, 38%? 38, it's going to be 31.7. I would make it 32. 32? Give, let give, me, give okay, a little play in there. 32. Or 28 without the attic. Yeah, we know that. But we still have to advertise it the other way. Okay. And um, reduce the side yard from 12 to 11 is still the That's same. That's the same, correct. Okay. And the paving is still the same. That's true. And um, the front yard setback from 25 to 6 for the shed is the same. No, they, I, the my shed, recollection is. The they, shed's been removed. Yeah. The shed has been removed. Or relocated, I should yeah, say. They, they proposed relocating it just after they filed the application in March or April? Okay, so let, I can take that right out. Okay. All right, any other questions? Is there anything now that you? No, I think we would recommend approval at this point. Okay. Gentlemen, are we, everybody? Okay. Questions? Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Thank and we you appreciate very much. And I'll give you this back. Thank you. Okay. Is there anyone here that would like to be heard on this application? Hearing none, I'll entertain a motion to close the hearing. So moved. Second. Ready, moved, and second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carried. Okay. Next case is case 16487, Bobby Burger Palace, 355 Smith Haven Mall, Lake Grove. Location north, the east corner of Middle Country Road and Alexander Avenue, Lake Grove. Property zone STB. Request special exception to permit a 400 square foot outdoor dining area to a restaurant. Variance to waive special exception standard that requires the site area to be adequate. Variance to waive special exception standard that requires the parking to be adequate. And your name, please. Philip Barragato. And your address. 8 Frost Lane, Greenlawn, New York. Okay. Raise your right hand. Do you swear to tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth? Yes. Are you an officer? I'm a managing uh, person of the company. Oh, please. <laughs> what do you mean by managing person? Well, I run the, I run the, I run the locations. What? No. What locations? Many? Uh, well, I do. I, I run Philadelphia, and I run Long Island, um, and I work, you know, with the owners of the company. Okay. I don't know. Sorry? Do you call the corporate office? Uh, no, I don't. Oh, the attorney's not here. You know. uh, she wouldn't. You came all the way here. I'm, I... <coughs> I need to have either a power of attorney or a, an officer or the 
president or the vice president of the corporation. You're not a franchisee, are you? No. Um. B A R R A G A T O. Um, who, who would have the power to sign contracts for Bobby's Burgers? Well, I, I, in this instance, I thought that I submitted s something from uh, Lawrence Kretschmer. And who is that? He's the, one of the partners, uh, himself and Bobby Flay. And he's fully aware of this, um, this hearing. Mm -hmm. um, so is um, Mr. Lundgren from the mall. Um, from Smith Haven Mall, so everyone is up to speed on it. Uh, but in a, in a sense, like from a, this is sort of like a contract. You uh -huh. know, like who would have the authority to enter into a contract on behalf of Bobby's Burger? I can do that. They're allowing me to do it. Into contracts generally. Um, on, as needed. I'm, you know. I can. I do. Yeah. I do run yeah. the locations. I don't. I don't think uh, the I board's can. going to say that that's enough. I think you need power of attorney. Um, okay. um, I can get power of attorney. Um, you know, the issue was that we've waited a long time to get onto the um, I calendar. I understand that. And, and I, uh, I, I mean, I just thought that <laughs> they would send someone. Yeah, I was not, I was not informed that I would need to um, have someone, um, even though I've been helped quite a great deal to get this done up to this point. Um, I know if the attorney was here tonight, she would not let me hear it. You okay. Could, you could retain an attorney that might be in the audience. <laughs> <laughs> Can I uh, speak to Mr. Tremarco, if that's okay? Let's take, um, then let's take a 10 minute break, please. Okay. All right. Yes. Sorry to waste your time. I, I'm sorry that you had to come all this way, too. That's okay. okay. Thank right. you. All right. Thank you so much. Sorry. Okay. Um, at this time, that concludes all our hearings for the night. Thank you so much.